Select the equation that matches the given function table. Okay, now this is a linear function situation. And I know this because, well, basically I look here and all these equations are written as linear functions, but let's go ahead and verify. What's the amount of change here? You're taking 2 away, so that's minus 2. From 2 to 0, that's minus 2. 0 to negative 2, minus 2. And negative 2 to negative 4, that's minus 2. So, so your amount of change is negative 2. And your inputs increase by 1 each time. So it's negative 2 to 1, which is negative 2. Your rate of change is negative 2. Okay, now what about the initial amount? Well, you find the initial amount looking at the input of 0. Input of 0, output of 4. 4 is your initial amount. So 4 is your initial. So the general equation for a linear function is y equals mx plus b, where m is the rate of change and b is the initial amount. Rate of change we found is negative 2, so it would be y equals negative 2x, and then plus the initial amount, which is 4. So y equals negative 2x plus 4 is the equation that matches the function table. And that would be d right here. So notice the process. I went through and found the amount of change, verified it's linear divided by the difference between the inputs, which in this case was 1, to get the rate of change. Look for the initial amount for an input of 0, and then use those values to generate an equation based on the y equals mx plus b.